It's damp and dark, just a couple of feet below the ground. The main tunnel runs from Ybor City toward the port, and it is truly a tunnel back in time. At a construction site off 6th Avenue, new openings just unearthed. Show the way. Got to watch your head. We get inside for the first time. It, it keeps going. Seeing firsthand that the tunnels of Ebor aren't urban legend, they are real mysteries of history. And back in the day, you just know, you don't know what they had in mind for this. You got the storm structure that's right here. Intersecting pipes show drainage was at least part of the purpose, but there's little doubt there are also passages. For safety, this is just about as far as the construction manager will let us go. We can see about 200 feet. Where the tunnel leads, we just don't know. Some believe the tunnels were used for smuggling during Prohibition. In fact, the Florida brewery, built pre-1900, sat just above the tunnel. As these new entrances were unearthed, hundreds of bottles were found, maybe a clue. We're going to kind of go back through time and, um, and kind of re-examine how these things might all connect. Using technology, the digital heritage team from USF went in to get images to make maps. There's where the brick ends. Of where the tunnels go in relation to streets and buildings above. We have the whole site to about a millimeter, so if something were to happen, we still have it all preserved digitally. What's likely to happen is the long lost tunnels of Ebor will be covered over again. It's right in the middle where we're going to be building our building, of course. The new building's owner, Daryl Shaw, says he'd like to build a see-through floor with a view of the tunnel. We've geo-referenced all of these maps. In the meantime, historians scour these tunnels of local legend. It goes up with, with all of the organized crime and all the other stories and, I hate to say myths, but the legends you hear about, about Ybor. In more than 100 years of Ybor City, the best kept secrets may be underground. Now the USF libraries and the Tampa Bay History Center are gathering just as much data as they can while the tunnels are exposed. Was it used for smuggling, prostitution, organized crime, or all of the above? We could get more answers as they continue to dig deeper. Mark and Linda.